Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell, your friendly neighborhood chart nerd, coming to you with a morning market prep video for March 9th, 2021. Yesterday, we had quite a day with those bulls just raging in industrials and uh, consumer defensive stocks. Well, at the same time, we saw those bears kind of having their way with the NASDAQ and the big techs. And we left behind some concerning price action patterns on the charts to continue to complicate these markets, raise a little bit of uncertainty, and then we still have those pesky bonds out there causing us a little hate and discontent. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, to our office chairs and let's see if we can gain some information looking at the technicals and price action for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Okay, well yesterday we were pretty wild and chaotic um, in the market. Bulls raging in um, some areas of the market and bears um, charging in other areas of the market. Let's take a look at our index charts and see what we can do here with them. First off, we want to notice that the Dow um, reached out yesterday and touch the sun, um, reached out there for a new record high. But by the end of the day, we saw profit takers rushing in, pushing those indexes back down. Kind of an interesting situation. And then we saw here that we failed to hold that resistance level in the chart. And that's kind of an unfortunate situation. We saw those profit takers racing in now this morning, however, as you can see, we've got those bulls back on um, task here. They're pushing up hard. They're really, really trying to um, encourage that fear of missing out and that chase um, into the market. Let's take a look at um, the Dow here for just a second. And let's just take a quick reminder here that we are from our low of just three trading days ago, um, our low in the Dow to where we closed the day. We closed the day up yesterday um, over 1,200 points. Okay, 1,238 points. And we are trying to open the market up here, almost 1,400 points off of the low just three days ago. So kind of keep that in mind. One of the things that the market really seems to be trying to encourage right now or promote is that chase, that fear of missing out. Chase in, chase in, chase in. Dive into this market. Now let's keep in mind, we still have those bonds creating some problems here. And if those bonds continue to rally, we could easily see those bears come back in and attack. So be careful here. Make sure that you're trading stocks that are at or or near price support levels, not at or near price resistance levels in these charts. Um, I want to avoid um, over trading and I want to avoid the chase. Let's take a look at the um, SPY. Now SPY had a nice day yesterday, a nice bullish move yesterday, but unfortunately still left behind some questions. We have that trend that was obviously broken here in the chart. We have a downtrend that ultimately held yesterday. As you can see, we put in a, a little bit of a selling candle yesterday, pushing that back down and really reacting directly off of price resistance in the chart. So we hit that downtrend. We slammed into that and then we pulled back. Now this morning, as you can see, we're trying to pump this up again, but notice that we have yet to breach that downtrend and that resistance level in the chart. So we still have to stay on our toes and stay focused here. And it's one of the things I wanna just caution everyone on, be very, very careful getting involved in the chase this morning, just in case we happen to pop in the morning and then see um, sellers come back on, so watch that close. 
then let's take a look at and by the way um we're really not out of the out of the woods here um unless we can get those bulls to push through and then prove to hold we need proof that we can hold a higher low proof that we can hold a higher support in the chart before we can really start to feel that we have overcome um, this uh, recent attack in the market. And then let's take a look at the poor old NASDAQ. QQQ really struggled yesterday, pushing back down. Notice we didn't quite hit the lows and we're getting a full on overnight reversal attempt here um, this morning. Once again, we're really trying to encourage that um, chase um, this morning. So watch that carefully. Let's keep in mind that the NASDAQ has a awful lot of work to recover. We are well below our 50 day moving average. So we'll want to remember that as we look at this head and shoulders pattern that is still working that possibility of completion down toward the 200 day moving average. We have clearly broken the uptrend substantially. We tested it as resistance. We failed and we have pushed down below a significant level of price resistance in the chart. So even with a rally back, we still have downtrend and price resistance to worry about, let alone the 50 day moving average that's still all the way up here that we need to try and recover. So a lot of work needs to be done here in the NASDAQ and be very, very careful chasing in to these stocks, uh, thinking um, that we have sounded the all clear with a $1.9 trillion stimulus, because I'm not sure that is the case. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM also held up very, very well, kind of like the Dow, but notice that although we did rally, we're just challenging that uh, trend as resistance. We still have price resistance above in the chart that needs to be dealt with. And once again, we left behind a bit of a confusing pattern with that shooting star left behind yesterday and we're trying to get that morning pump going on this morning so be once again be very very careful about chasing in so we've got the diamonds and iwm holding up relatively well doing nicely we've got the spy still in a downtrend with shooting stars left behind little confusion there we have the qqq definitely underneath a bear attack um, a full correction of 10 percent has has begun there in the nasdaq so we have this mixed bag of results that should provide you just a little bit of concern and as we rush back in and we push these resistance levels we want to be careful very careful not to chase let's take a look at our vix now our VIX, you would think with such a massive run up yesterday in the Dow that we would see our VIX settling back tremendously, but that's not what occurred. Our VIX remains relatively elevated. Keep an eye on this. We're above 25 handles here at the close of yesterday. We're still holding on to price support levels. So if those bonds and if those bonds continue to rise, I'm not saying that they will, but if those bonds continue to rise, we can see those bears re-engage pretty easily if that were the case. I'm not suggesting that is the case, but it's kind of that counterbalance to this $1.9 trillion printing. We could go either way, depending on which one wins the day there. If those bonds slip back, hey, we could surge higher. If those uh, bonds move on up, watch for those bears to potentially reattack in the market. And we still have that issue that confusion here in the VIX. Also keep in mind with the volatility this high, we want to remember a healthy market doesn't move five, six, 700 points every single day. So keep in mind, there's an awful lot of risk in this market. No matter what you do, no matter how you trade it, there is a tremendous amount of risk with uh, the big swings that we're experiencing in the market. So protect yourself and remember, Accounts will often get chopped to pieces in this kind of whippy price action uh, before we actually resume or, uh, or complete a trend. So 
keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now, unfortunately, our T2122, we went from an oversold condition, okay? Oversold condition, we started that rally on Friday, and at a point um, um, yesterday when we were at our highs, T2122 was all the way up here. Um, that little bit of selling brought us back down um, which leaves that possibility that we do have a little bit of upside that can be done here. But keep in mind that as we push up, we will be pushing into that bearish reversal zone. We'll have gone from oversold in the short term to overbought in the short term in a blink of an eye. And that kind of sets up that opportunity that we could in the next blink of the eye take it all back. So make sure you're very, very careful in the trades that you take here. Don't chase and don't chase stocks particularly that are overextended. If we take a look at T2101, we still have a problem here in our uh, market breadth. Our market breadth remains very, very um, a low down in here. Notice that we're continuing to run this downtrend, holding this downtrend. Um, now we are down in this area where we would expect to catch some kind of breadth increase, but at least at this point, we're not really experiencing that. So watch that closely as that market breadth continues to struggle here just a little bit. And we have these, this uncertain uh, market in these um, weird conditions out there um, affecting both sides, bulls and bears. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar has very little on it to be concerned about today. However, we do have, whoops, doggone it. Sorry guys, picking up another window here that I didn't intend to pick up. Um, so here's our today's calendar, not much on here at all. We do have a three-year note auction, um, short-term bonds. Uh, the Fed has done a pretty good job of controlling those. So not much to worry about here today. Uh, really no market moving reports. We do have a Fed speaker. One thing we wanna make note of though, is that tomorrow we're gonna get CPI. CPI is definitely a market mover, but I think maybe more importantly tomorrow, we have a 10-year note. Um, the prior 10-year note auction went horribly, and that's what has pushed these rates higher. If they don't get that resolved um, Wednesday afternoon and have a better bond auction, um, we could see those rates running higher. So once again, just keep that in mind and stay focused on these, um, these bonds because anything is possible here. We could get them to pull back and that would be great and the market could move higher, but you don't wanna be betting on that, um, particularly with stocks that are already extended. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have about 70 companies reporting, but really not that many notables today at least that I pulled out as particularly notable, um, but a few that you might want to keep an eye on. By the way, if you want the full list, just click that link right underneath the title of the video. You can go back to the morning blog and get that full list. If you take a look, we have AVAV that will be reporting. Now this has struggled with a um, top up here that um, we've obviously failed support and we are in a downtrend. It's going to be interesting to see how this uh, comes out of this. One of the things I have been noticing though with all of the saber rattling starting to crop up over there between Iraq, Iran, Syria, United States, um, we are seeing some defensive or defense sector stocks trying to pick up. So we'll wanna watch that depending on how those earnings reports, this could turn back around. Let's take a look at um, BND, whoops, BNED, there we go. Um, this is a Barnes and Noble um, holding up pretty well in a consolidation. Notice we've been in kind of this choppy little range here and we're trying to push up this morning. So watch this up here. This is one of those stocks that can go either direction if we can pop on through or if we happen to fail. 
breaking down and that would kind of cement or break a trend in the chart how about dick sporting goods dick sporting goods um looks like they have already reported a disappointing result um, we tried to pop up and break out of that resistance, but notice those bears are really pushing in here pretty hard on Dick's, and that is pretty ugly candle. Remember, this is a pre-market candle. What that means is when the market opens, we'll see this gapping down to here. So kind of keep that in mind. Dick's Sporting Goods not looking too good this morning. How about Place, PLCE, Children's Place, will be reporting today. Looks like they're showing bullishness this morning after, I don't know if they've reported or not, but they're sure looking bullish this morning. Holding in that trend, popping through, uh, very nice looking chart, one to keep an eye on. Um, HRB, H&R Block, looking pretty darn good here. Um, holding up very, very strong in the market. Um, looking good here and then we have um, NAV I put on the list now NAV I don't know that there's much we can do with this um, um, you can see just uh, chopping in this consolidation but it may be interesting to pay attention to how they report and then THO THO I have on here and we can see that Thor Industries has just done extremely well here recently breaking through resistance um, I think any rest or pullback in here as we move uh, on up comes back to contact that trend sets up an opportunity it may be one you want to put on your list for more upside notice we've got this beautiful breakout here in the chart and we could reach on up here and contact these all-time highs Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up uh, for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click those thumbs up buttons. Leave those brief comments. That helps me continue to grow the channel. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. It means the world to me. You guys are awesome. And also make sure you click that bell icon so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Um, if you um, are not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks or Right Way Options and would like to help support this kind of content um, please remember you have the opportunity in, in the link just below the title you'll see where you can buy a coffee um, buy a coffee helps support the channel um, so I can continue to try and improve and add quality to the channel if you feel that this video helped you then feel free to support the channel that way please understand there's no obligation to do so Let's take a look at some stuff. Oh, and by the way, just thank you to so much to everyone who has. You guys are uh, truly awesome. Thank you. Just a huge shout out to those um, supporting the channel. Let's take a look at um, some stock setting up and remember that every time I post one of these stocks it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security everyone has to do their own due diligence and stay very very focused to your personal trading rules it's never a good idea to blindly follow anyone's trade now if you remember yesterday I mentioned um, Disney I mentioned Disney um, pulling back um, holding nicely in this chart and oh my goodness did Disney take off like a rocket ship yesterday now unfortunately Disney has probably moved a little bit too far for me to be comfortable with uh, buying it I don't want to chase an already extended stock however if Disney can rest up here consolidate for a few days um, come back out here and contact that trend or maybe even pull back to contact that trend we'll want to watch that opportunity in Disney Disney did really well as you probably heard they're going to be reopening Disney California and um, we'll want to watch that closely Disney holding up quite well I think we also if you remember I mentioned Starbucks yesterday and Starbucks made an attempt yesterday breaking out and um, that doggone selling at the end of the day brought those bears back in leaving behind a little bit of concern here on Starbucks but I would keep an eye on this if this can hold in this area right in here watch for this to contact this trend if it can contact that trend or come close with a little bit of rest in here um, Starbucks could be ready to move back to the upside or stretch on out so watch 
that one closely. As you guys know, I mentioned um, some of these oil sector stocks, Valero and Rig, the last few days. I've uh, been talking about those. Valero has look, uh, looking very good here. Um, if our oil sector is going to continue to extend and move higher, we're going to need the refiners. Keep in mind that this is a beautiful little pattern running up in that trend, continuing to extend. Watch that closely. That has that opportunity. And then Rig, Rig um, working its way right through this big price resistance in the chart. And we know that if oil prices are going to continue to surge, we're going to see drillers come back into favor. If we can hold this up here, watch that closely. That energy sector is holding up very, very strongly. So watch that and see if we can find an opportunity into that trade. Now, keep in mind, I have a bias here in Ford. I'm already in this position. Uh, picked up this position right back over here. I have a beautiful upside or a beautiful profit in this trade. Um, I wouldn't want to chase this necessarily. Um, because I think we might be just a little bit extended in the short term. So I would wait for the next rest or pull back into that chart looking for an entry. Ford and GM both have been looking very, very good pushing on up in these charts. And I'm going to toss in, although different industry group, but take a look at GE. GE continues to recover here, looking very strong. Notice how we've broken through this big resistance level in the chart. Now, I would expect some kind of a rest or pullback at any time in here, meaning a consolidation or a pullback. So watch that closely for that next opportunity in GE. I'm going to switch gears here for just a second, and I want to to point out a whole bunch of consumer defensive stocks that have really perked up and a lot of them, some of them are coming up out of bottoms. Let's take a look at um, KHC. Now, once again, I have a bias here. I own KHC. I've got a nice profit in this trade. We're seeing some of these defensive sector stocks that have completed these bottom patterns. They've been underloved for a long time, really starting to perk up and come on through. So packaged foods, consumer defensive areas, high dividend payers, they have really come into favor here recently. But keep an eye on KHC. I think there's an opportunity KHC could move on through and fill that gap given enough time. And we're going to see that in lots and lots of stocks here recently. Take a look at AT&T. AT&T has zoomed up the last few days. Now, this is a big dividend payer, our annualized yield over here, over 7%. Now, I wouldn't want to chase it here, but any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity for an entry into AT&T. We're seeing good moves in like Hershey, big zooming move here in Hershey. Again, don't chase wait for the next entry. Seeing stocks coming off the bottom like Clorox, pushing up into its downtrend. Uh, big divvy payers at consumer defensive. How about Tyson? Tyson racing yesterday. Packaged foods seem to be very, very strong right now. Breaking through this resistance level in the chart. Wait for the next entry into that trade. Another that was brought up by one of the members of RWO yesterday. Um, take a look at Farm. Farm, beautiful setup here. Little hammer, follow through, holding off of price support. That is a gorgeous looking chart. Keep an eye on stocks like Farm. They're looking very, very very good. And then we may want to be keeping our eye on these little retailers that just seem to be hanging in there. They don't want to give up and they may be expecting some nice benefits from that uh, stimulus bill. So keep an eye on Kohl's and UAA um, and or Under Armour UA um, looking very, very good here in the charts. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. Thanks for watching today. I really, really appreciate it. Please make sure you click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. I'll try to be answering those today. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. We'll see you right back here bright and early to, excuse me, Wednesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.